How much nitrogen does your corn actually need? There are a lot of different figures out there. Well, we want to set the record straight today. We just mentioned earlier on the show to download that free Ag PhD fertilizer removal app. When you punch in, let's say 200 bushel corn, did you know that 200 bushel corn needs about 224 pounds of nitrogen? 300 bushel corn, for example, needs 336 pounds of nitrogen. We all know that bigger crops need more nitrogen. It really comes back to what's your yield going to be this year? And that's very hard to predict. And also it's going to be really variable. We've got areas on our farm this year I expect might only get 120 bushels per acre, but I have other areas that I'm hoping go over 300. That's a huge variance. So we invite you to use some variable rate fertilizer application methods to try to meet those needs. The one thing that I look at with nitrogen is we want to be as efficient as we possibly can. And that means having a good balance of fertilizer. And we're talking about one nutrient today, nitrogen. But if we want to get the most out of our nitrogen, we also have to have ample supplies of sulfur and micronutrients for all those processes building proteins and so forth inside that plant to work properly. Here's the other big thing. Take a look at what your soil can hold. So let's say that your cation exchange capacity is 12. Multiply your cation exchange capacity number times 10. So 12 times 10 is 120. That'll tell you how much nitrogen your soil can hold at any one time. Now if you want to be on the safe side, I'd maybe only put on 80 to 90 percent of that much. And the other thing is you've got to subtract off what's already in the soil. So let's say we have 120 pounds that I can put out, but I already have 20 pounds in the soil, that means I could apply 100 pounds. I might only want to put on 80 or 90 pounds just to be on the safe side in any one application. If your crop actually needs 250 pounds, let's say, you've got a long ways to go, but there are other factors that enter into it, including organic matter. When it comes to organic matter levels, it's important to know what they are in your soils and how they vary across your field because they are going to release for each 1% of organic matter in your soil, 20 to 30 pounds of nitrogen throughout the season. So don't forget to figure that into your program or you could be over applying the nitrogen. The other thing you're going to have to keep in mind is using nitrogen stabilizers. We get many questions about this. We use nitrogen stabilizers on our farm every year because what they're going to do is keep the nitrogen in the ammonium form longer, which is the form that plants prefer to use and it's also the form that doesn't leach. We want you to know what your soil already has, what your organic matter is going to release, and then make sure that you're not over applying. If you've got a very light soil, maybe you can't put 100 pounds all, all out in one shot. Maybe you can. You just need to know what your soil is like and how much you can apply. Well, it's important to manage nutrients properly for environmental reasons, but also just for economic reasons for your farm with nitrogen. Learn what your organic matter levels are, what your cation exchange capacities are, and work with a good agronomist to get the right nitrogen stabilizer for your program. One other thing you'll need to focus on is weed control. We'll show you how to stop this weed coming up next.